Hi, I'm Jack from Achievers and we conduct super awesome math tuition. When I was in a university, a friend shared with me his secret on how he got onto the Dean's List for almost every semester. He had definitely studied really hard, but he had also studied really smart. He achieved these amazing results by making sure that whenever he is studying for his exams, when he, whenever he is revising for his exams, he will revise with a group of friends. But hang on a second. There are definitely a lot of people who will be studying with friends, but we can be pretty sure also that not many of them will be getting on the Dean's list. And he told me that the difference was because number one, he will first make sure that all his friends knew that he is available to teach them whenever they don't know something. And number two, he wasn't simply discussing the subject with them. He would be putting this extra effort beforehand to make sure that he is about 20 to 30% more prepared than all of his friends. And since he is also known to be the one who is consistently on the Dean's list, his friend knew this is someone who they can trust. This is someone who is reliable. And so during the exam period, he will be swamped with so many people asking him questions, probably even more than the professors teaching the subject. I myself also was on the Dean's list, but my productivity spiked when I studied in isolation. So I couldn't really understand why he did that because to me, having so many people trying to get your attention and asking you questions all the time would be very, very distracting. And this was what he explained to me. He told me when you start learning or revising a new subject, especially when it is math or science related, then there will be always this gap in your understanding because the initial perspective of this new subject is limited. It is going to be pretty narrow. It's new, it's unfamiliar, you have not been tested, so you can't possibly know what you don't know. But the moment when you start teaching people, it will immediately challenge you to think deeper and review any inadequacies that you may have. And your perspectives of the subject will broaden because you now can start to see from others' perspective. And if you can help them truly understand and apply the theories and formulas, you can then be 100% certain that you have mastered and solidified your understanding and applications. And if you can teach your friends to know the subject better, they will most likely come back to you with high quality questions and bring together with them those tougher exam questions too. This will in turn refine your understanding of the subjects even further. He told me that he never find it necessary to try hunt for difficult questions. You know why? Because the difficult questions will automatically come and find him. And trust me, he did this not just to benefit himself, but to also genuinely help his friends because more and more of his friends also started getting onto the Dean's list or getting A in the subsequent semesters. YouTuber Ali Abdal also mentioned this as one of his study tips. He titled this tip as, Teach what you are learning. So if you are a student trying to learn a new math topic well, or if you are revising for your exams, generously share your knowledge with your friends and work hard to know this subject at least 20 to 30% better than your friends around you so that they know you are someone they can trust to learn good information about the topic. And the more you teach and share, the more knowledgeable and well-equipped you will become. This video is about how my friend was on the Dean's List for almost every semester. But I should probably make another video to share how I stayed on the Dean's List for every single semester. Meanwhile, happy learning. Thank mm -hmm. you.